Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I'm Shane Burton. I'm the Executive Director of Gopher Green Foundation. It's a pleasure for me to be here this morning at the LGBT Issues in the Workplace Diversity Breakfast. I'm actually doing something this morning I try never to do, and that's following Mayor Perkins from when he speaks. <laughs> seldom works to my advantage. He's such a great speaker, and I'm really honored to have him as my mayor. I hope many of you know the Gopher Green Foundation is an LGBT, LGBT community foundation. But we're not just any old LGBT community foundation. We're one of only 13 public ones in the country. I had the pleasure to attend a meeting back in January, actually a conference, of the other 12 foundations from across the country. And when we went around the room and introduced ourselves and said where our foundations were, my colleagues in the room all raised their hands and said places like New York, Seattle, Los Angeles, Minneapolis. It was great for me to be able to raise my hand and say, Gopher Green Foundation, Greensboro, North Carolina. Gopher Green Foundation was formed 15 years ago by a group of LGBT community leaders and activists. They actually got together and held a party for Tri Health Projects Dining for Friends. And they called it the Green Party. They were very successful their first year. They raised over $40,000 to give to Tri Health Project. And that same group of leaders and activists got together and said, is there more that we could be doing? And of course, the answer to that question, is there more that we could be doing, always is yes. And that group knew the answer was yes. So they formed Go for Green Foundation with an initial plan to raise money yearly and split what they raised and give out half the granting back into the community and put half into an endowment so they could build an endowment for sustainable growth into the future. GGF works to achieve our mission of uniting the community through a mix of strategic approach to community building that incorporates platforms that foster and support the LGBT community. Our calendar year is based on a series of special events, from our straight ally party, to our friendship fund drive, to our Halloween party, to our black tie gala. All of these events raise dollars that allow us to put money back into the community through an annual granting cycle. Our grants over our uh, past 14 years have totaled over $635,000 into the local LGBT community. We funded such initiatives as healthcare initiatives for HIV and AIDS, mental health, women's health, and sexual health program. We funded educational initiatives such as teacher education grants, student peer counseling, safe zone training, and support of student pride groups at local colleges and universities. We funded social justice acceptance and advocacy initiatives with groups such as NCCJ's Anytown, PFLAC programs, and supported organizations like Triad Equality Alliance, Equality NC, and Alternative Resources of the Triad. And we funded a, a mix of other programs, such as outreach for homeless LGBT teenagers, voice training for transgender individuals, domestic violence prevention training, and many others too numerous to mention. Our vision is not that one day we will grant all that there is to grant in our community, or we will do all that there is to do. Our vision is to have a sustainable future where GGF is a constant in our community, where we're a key player, where Gopher Green Foundation is just like any other foundation in the triad, where we have a seat at the table. Our vision is that one day when our great mayor is talking to a company that's looking to potentially relocate to the triad, he can hold GGF up as a shining example of diversity in our community. If you all aren't familiar with GGF, I invite you to become so. I'm here this morning. I'll be happy to answer any questions that we have after our program. You can also visit our website, which is ggfnc.org, for more, for more information. Thank you.